Hi, brothers and sisters. So, um, I was laying here praying, trying to go to sleep, and uh, I had a vision, and I'm going to share the vision with you. Um, in this vision, I was inside of this, um, I don't know, I was just in like an old kitchen area, maybe from the 20s or 30s, I don't know, when they used to have pot belly stoves um, or wood-burning stoves inside of the kitchen. And I was standing there, and there's this horse. It was this white horse. And the horse was, the leg of it was <clears throat> hobbled, like in this picture. See how the leg is hobbled? And I was standing more towards the hind end so I could look down and see um, from a different position. But the horse's leg was hobbled and wrapped, kind of bound in rope. And it was caught. And then I looked and I seen that the rope was connected to the door of, let's see, no, of a wood-burning stove. And the horse, um, if you've ever been around horses, uh, this horse was getting really irritated. And I knew at any second that this horse was ready to just go nuts and and start backing out and running. Like, it did not care if it was uh, bound to this... Um, this... Uh, wood burning stove and I knew that it would rip that wood burning stove straight out and it, it, there was going to be problems it was going to be bad and I came out of the vision and I you know I was like okay and um, I believe I was led to some scripture here uh, Zechariah 9, 9 through 10. Rejoice great, re greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation. Lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the foal of an ass. And I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. And the battle bow shall be cut off. And he shall sp speak peace unto the heathen. And his dominion shall be from sea even to sea, and from the river even to the ends of the earth. And then <clears throat> I found Ezekiel twenty-two twenty-two: As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you. Because I am thinking that this is showing that war nuclear war is going to start because horses mean war and then the furnace and then um, Isaiah 29 6 thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire Isaiah thirty fourteen, and he shall break it as a the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces, he shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it assured to take fire from the hearth, or to take water withal out of the pit. Isaiah thirty twenty seven. Behold, the name of the Lord cometh from far, burning with his anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation, and his tongue as a devouring fire. Isaiah thirty thirty, And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard, and shall shew the lightning down of his arm with the indignation of his anger, and with the flame of a devouring fire with scattering, and tempest, and hailstones.
Yeah. 3311, ye shall conceive sh chaff, and ye shall bring forth stubble. Your breath as fire shall devour you. So I really believe that this was, the Lord was showing us that, you know, the judgment that's coming. And the horse is about to, you know, break free and ride and and uh, open the uh, door on this this stove, wood burning stove over this furnace. And um, I remember I was standing in a dream one time. I was standing in front of a toaster in the kitchen, and the toast popped up. And I heard the Lord say, "Everything but the granary." And so I just believe he was saying everything's going to be burnt up. So if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I would do it today. And, um, you know, repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And um, feel sorry that you're a sinner and, and that you need a Savior. And realize that Jesus Christ is Lord and he died on the cross for you. Alright you guys, <clears throat> I love you. I just wanted to share this with you. It's uh, Friday, March 16th, almost 2 in the morning here. And um, I love you guys. <laughs>